This video explains how to make Spinbox widgets into Kinta. So we're going to create a little window like this and the Spinbox, which we should all recognize if you've used computers before, where you can go up and down between set values. You can limit what the user can put in and they can scroll up and down. And we're gonna make one which is just gonna display the value as it changes here. Radio. So let's see what we've set up. Um, in our code over here, we've got the usual setup with our window. I've created a label with a top up here. Um, we've also created the display label to go underneath it and they've all been packed into um, our root window and the main loop is running. So let's look at the code to get the spin box actually working. So first off, we've got to put a spin box in there. Now we are going to reference, refer to this spin box um, in a function, so I need to give it a name. So I've called it choice and SB at the end to say it's spin box. So I just know from the name that it's a spin box. I've called the function spin box from tkinter and I said that this belongs in the root window. Now the couple of the parameters here, the lowest value from equals zero, so that's the lowest number it can go to, and two says the highest number. Don't forget the underscore under at the end of the from here. Um, then we have the command, which is our event handler. So every time I click that these arrows get clicked, it runs the event handler and it will call a function called display. So let's just pack that into, um, into our root folder be, or root window before we actually create the display function. So up here, I go to display. So I've defined the function display. And then within here, I say selection, which is a variable I've made up, is go to whatever the, go to the choice uh, spin box, which is this one with it down here, and then get whatever the current value is in it. All right, and assign that value to the selection variable. Then finally to display it, I've got the display label. Um, I'm going to configure display label, which we've put down here. I'm going to configure it and change the text to be the string of whatever has been selected. So that should, I'll close that down and I'll run it from this program. And here we are. So when I click up, the event handler runs display, it gets the value of one, puts it in selection and then displays that in the label underneath it. And if I go back down to zero, it runs that again and displays zero. So that's how you make spin boxes.